Let's say you're a looper, okay? Are you a looper? You, you like to use loops? Um, or your ambient or whatever. You know, when you start stacking up things, one after the other, it, gets, it can start to get really dense. And of course, one of the ways we handle that is, uh, well, we just select our notes really wisely. We play only what really needs to be played so that you're not creating a huge soup that just gets out of control with all the delays and reverbs and everything. And yeah, reverbs help, you know, if you're going stereo, that's best. That's great if you can. Um, but you know what? If you're in stereo, um, there's still some limitations if you're still stacking and stacking. You know, at some point it's going to get too dense. But I, I came up with a solution to this problem. Um, I ordered just recently the Mimic Doubler by TC Electronic. Now basically what the Mimic does is it you play through it, and uh, let's say you're playing one track. So basically it's in dub one mode, for example, you can have two or three modes, uh, one or two or three dubs. Let's say you're <clears throat> dubbing one, number one. You got the toggle to number one. So you play a track, okay? So what it does is it puts you hard right, or left, I'm not sure, I think it's hard right, and then left, hard left, will be the sort of the copy of you, which is slightly, very slightly delayed, and also they have some kind of algorithm, algorithms to make it just sound like, sound like it, was, like it was you doing another pass, you know, like you recorded it and then you went back and recorded it. It's, the idea is that it doesn't sound identical, although it can sound identical, there's a switch there called the the bright uh, tightness switch, and that uh, you can make it loose or tight, basically exactly, or more and more little differences, so to your taste. I'm going to have it just in the middle. So, as a looper, uh, I realized that, and that's not the purpose I bought this pedal for it originally, but when I, when I realized you could actually switch the effect volume all the way down and then basically have just the right speaker going, or the right side of the stereo going, so you hear just yourself to the right, and then if you do a loop with that, and then then keep the loop going, and then you switch it, so then now you're going to go on the other side, and do another sort of a complementary loop. So basically, I mean, you could do this back and forth, you can actually uh, make it sort of partially to the right, and partially to the left, hard to the right, hard to the left, and then do some center looping. So you do this all live. And if you're using a stereo looper like I am here, which I just got, and I love it, Electro Harmonix 22500, it's a great dual stereo looper. Um, just barely touch scratching the surface here, but I'm just loving it, it's great. Um, so there you go, you've got so much more sonic possibility, your palette is broadened here. Uh, you can really, maybe if you're doing using two instruments, like I use cello and guitar, you could actually pan hard right the cello and do some cello lines hard right and then have hard left and then in the middle or if you want to do uh, all all guitar and right all, or you know you just it's very creative and you can do it live so that's the exciting thing about it because I don't think uh, TC Electronics maybe even foresaw uh, that this could happen I wouldn't be surprised so let's give it a shot just a little quick demo so I've turned the effect all the way down I've got dry already all the way up tightness in the middle Dub one. So here we go. I'll make it just a whatever kind of a loop here on the spot. Okay, so I've got the loop going on the left. So now I'm going to go turn the effect all the way up, turn the dry down, and that should switch it right around. Uh, just practice for a second and see if it goes. It's decent. Okay, so I've got two loops going. Or I've got a layer now, another layer on top of the original loop.
see there I've got the guitar pan on each side. Isn't that fun? There's so much potential to this. So go ahead, uh, get yourself a mimic if you're a looper and just delve right into the uh, possibilities panning left and right.